Hey guys, Fran here. Or something else sometimes. But I love, love, love. Hey guys, Fran here with Question and Answer Friday. Yay! I am so excited for Question and Answer Friday. I know I say that a lot, right? Like every Friday I say, I am so excited for Question and Answer Friday. But truly, I am. I love Question and Answer Friday. I love being able to read you guys' emails and hear from you. I love the questions that you send me. You guys really are something else sometimes. But I love, love, love hearing from you guys and just getting your feedback. And I love answering your questions and kind of vibing with you and, and giving you my opinion on things and helping you create and manifest and, and enjoy your life. So I am so excited. So if you've been following me for some time, I am so excited. So if you've been following me for some time, make sure, make sure you continue to subscribe and tell people about this channel. If you've not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any of the fantastic things that happen on this channel because it's really a good time here on this channel. All right, guys, so I have been traveling and I will be traveling again soon. I've met some of you as I've traveled and I am so thankful and grateful for the opportunity when you guys walk up and say, hey, you're Fran from Angels with Fran or hey, that's Fran. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I thank you for acknowledging me even. I was I was on a plane and someone was like, that's Fran. And I was like, Where, where's Fran? Oh, me, you talking about me? <laughs> Hi. So anyway, let's kind of jump into this week's episode about love. I have noticed that all the questions this week have been about manifesting and creating love. Now, I have a, a, a mailbox and I kind of have a system of how I answer questions. And if I see questions that come in repeatedly, I kind of pick those out first and answer those because that means that more of you want to know about that particular subject. So this week we're going to talk about love and manifesting and creating love and attracting good love into your life. So a lot of people wrote in about being in relationships that are not productive or that they feel like the person is emotionally unavailable or they feel like they're spinning their, their wills, they've been in relationships for so long and they're see, seeing repeated patterns and behaviors. So I want to talk about that in general. I'm not going to pick the questions apart, but I want to talk about that. So first of all, let's talk about dating people who are unavailable to you emotionally. Now, I did a video some time ago, probably two or three years ago, about dating women dating una, unavailable, emotionally unavailable men. And I'll put the link here, and it should pop up right here, and you can just click it. But here's the thing. Whether it's a woman, a man, whomever, if somebody has shut down emotionally to you, or to, to love in general, it's going to be very hard to manifest and, and create a relationship with that person because they're not available to you. When I talk about somebody emotionally shutting down, what that means is, is that they have turned off all desire to be in love, in a loving relationship, in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Like there's no emotional connection at all. And that happens for lots of reasons. Sometimes people do it because they've been hurt before. They've gone through a very, very bad breakup. Um, they have not dealt with the pain that they have from past relationships or, you know, past partnerships, or they have just decided that they are not going to put themselves in a position to be hurt period. So maybe they've never been hurt, but they've decided I'm not going to be hurt. So those people are considered emotionally unavailable. And a lot of times we feel like we can fix people. Like, you know, I, I'm going to make you available to me. I'm going to work. It's going to work. I'm going to love you so much. You're going to be emotionally available to me. And I'm here to tell you that that's not going to work. Unless you that person is willing to accept love, to return love, to open up their heart and give you love, you can't, you can't change them. 
You can't change someone that's emotionally unavailable. And I saw that a lot this week. People were writing in talking about how they've been in relationships and they feel like they're very one-sided, like they've been giving, 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 but they're not receiving. If you are in a relationship and you feel like maybe you've manifested it or you've attracted or you've called it in and that relationship is not serving your highest good, then you have to step back and you have to evaluate what it is that you actually want in a relationship. A lot of times we stay in situations way too long. We say, I have done it. I know. Stay in relationships way too long when the relationship is done and over, it's finished, it's served its purpose, and you should be leaving. You should be done. You should be over. Y'all both should be saying, um, bye-bye. See ya. But you stay because you feel like I've invested all this time. Um, of course, they love me. They just have some issues. I can help. I can make it better. Maybe if I change. You know, all those things that we go over and over and over in our head that we trick ourselves into believing that we can fix it. You cannot fix a relationship that the other person is not willing to fix. So if you're trying to fix it, and they're not trying to fix it, you're wasting your time. You cannot fix or change another person. I want you to hear me when I say that, very clear. People can only change themselves. We cannot use law of attraction, the secret, the power of manifestation, the power of intentions, not even the power of prayer can change a person who is not willing or wanting to change. Now, and I'm going to get some backlash on, prayer can change everything. Prayer can change you, girl. Prayer can change you. I've seen it happen. Prayer can change a lot of things. And prayer is very powerful. However, if I'm praying for you, for something that you don't want, God is not going to overstep what you want for yourself and give Fran what she wants for you. You understand what I'm saying? You have to want it yourself. So if I'm praying for you to change and you're in alignment with that prayer with me, you're praying for you to change, you want that change, then the universe can work. Then God can start working. Your angels will start moving. Things will start happening. But if I'm praying for you to do something, and you're not wanting that thing for yourself, God's not going to overstep your free will to give me what I want. So stop getting caught up in, I'm going to use the law of attraction. I'm going to change them. I'm going to pray this to be. Because if you're praying for me for something that I don't want for myself, it is not going to happen. Another thing about manifesting love you have to get clear about what you want in a love relationship. What do you desire? What do you want in a love relationship? Be specific. If you want someone who's this, 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 then you need to ask for those things. But don't leave out the things that are really important, like they love you. They're generous. They believe in, in what you believe in. They are supportive, that they are healthy, that, that, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in the superficial things. Girl, he got to be 6'5", he got to be chocolate, he got to have good big feet, he's got to have a strong jawline, and all of that stuff is great. Of course, everybody has their different things that they desire. Everybody has their different things to the eye. Things are great. But you want to make sure that you have a soul connection with somebody that you're trying to call in to your life. Because if you're not connected on a soul level, all of this, all of this, this, this here goes. This is going to fade. All of this is going to go bye-bye. Right? So if you're only attracted to the superficial stuff, this physical stuff, eventually that's going to fade and so is the love. Right? You want someone who makes your soul feel good and happy. And I'm here to tell you that once you find someone that makes your soul shine, 
you are going to fall in love with everything that person is. So be specific about what you want, but also be conscious of the things that don't fade. A good heart never fades, ever, ever. So be mindful about what you're calling in to your life. We all have the power to create and call in love on a big, huge level. But we sometimes play small and we settle because we feel like, well, this is about the best I can get. I had a lot of women write in and say, I feel like I have settled. Like, my life is almost over and I'm stuck with this guy. First of all, you're never stuck. You're never stuck. You have the ability to change your life at a second's notice. Sometimes it's harder than that when you're married to someone. I understand. But you are never stuck. And once you take responsibility for the fact that what's in your life right now, in your love life, in your love relationship, you've called in, you've manifested, you've accepted, then you can begin to change it. If you are still pointing fingers at, yeah, you did this to me, you did that to me, shame on you for hurting me, yeah, you cheated on me, yeah, you did this to me, when you're still blaming the other person for the things that have happened in the relationship, for the things that have gone wrong in that relationship, then you have not only a forgiveness issue that you need to deal with, you have a healing issue that you need to deal with, and then you have a responsibility for yourself that you need to deal with. No one can do anything to you unless you allow them to do it. So if you're in a relationship or a partnership that is not serving you and it doesn't feel good to you, you are the only one that has the ability to change that. Stop worrying about changing the other person. How about you change yourself? And change starts with taking responsibility for your actions and what you have allowed. Nobody can do anything to you unless you allow it. So if you want love, new love, if you even want to rekindle the love you have, it all starts with you. What are you going to do to make that happen? What, we've, what we fail to realize is that sometimes our mates or the people that we are in partnerships with react to the way we act. I know, you're not going to like that. I didn't like it either. But acting ugly in a relationship causes your mate to act ugly. Withholding yourself in a relationship, I'm just not going to kiss you. I'm not going to sleep with you. I'm not going to do nothing with you. I'm going to show you. That's a no-no. That's not love. That's not how love behaves. Love behaves in a way that says, yes, I'm willing to be vulnerable. I'm willing to bend a little bit. I'm willing to accept my flaws as I accept your flaws and love you through it in any way. When it means something to you, when it's worth it to you, you will work through it. If you find that you can't work through it because it's no longer making you feel good, then that's when you have to do what is best for you. But you have to also understand that sometimes taking responsibility for yourself in a relationship and the things that you do can fix a whole lot of stuff because you can't expect somebody to act how you're not willing to act. You can't expect them to love you and you don't love yourself. You can't expect for them to give you love, but you don't want to give love back. So, you know, this love thing, there's a lot of dynamics to this love thing. And when we do love coaching for people, when we do um, enlightened love services for people, it's amazing how, how many people don't want to start with themselves. You're not going to attract anything good until you clean out all this stuff. You know, you got to clean out all that stuff. And then you have to be willing to be responsible for what you are and what you desire and call it in. You do have the ability to call in great, great love. Love is the loudest language and it is out there for you. Nobody is supposed to be alone. I got a lot of those emails. Maybe I'm just supposed to be by myself. Maybe God wants me to be alone. Listen, God don't want you to be alone. If you want to be alone, that's a different story. But don't blame God 
because you're alone. You're alone because you have chose to be alone. Choose differently. Nobody is supposed to be alone and God doesn't want anybody to be alone. There is love out there for you. So, I know I was a little long and winded on that, but I really love the love thing because I believe that love is the loudest language. And also, Friday is the day of Venus and it is the day of love. So metaphysically, this would be a great time to sit down and think about really what you want in your life, in your love life. This is a great time to put on some pink, put on some red, and just really sit down and think about what it is. Metaphysically, Venus is open and Cupid is moving and it's a great time on Fridays to manifest love. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Keep sending me those questions. Share this video with somebody who might need a little love in their life tonight. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.